Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, 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 ah, yes. All right, guys, what's going on? Coming at you with another off the cuff video, totally unplanned, but I'm just pretty excited today and I wanted to share the good news with all you guys. A lot of you know, if you've been following, that I started about four weeks ago a Run a Faster Mile program. It's six weeks in total. I am now in uh, the earlier part of the fourth week. And as far as the training plan goes, this was the first time that I was able to test myself with a progress report for a one miler for time again. So I literally just got done running it. Okay, I'm out here. It's the exact same track that I ran uh, my first one mile baseline in and I did that in five minutes and 40 seconds. I warmed up for 10 minutes. That was all I did and actually I went way too fast. It was like a seven minute, 30 second pace. And honestly, I just attribute that to my new shoes and it's just, <laughs> it's like really hard to run slow in these shoes. So I, I'm just gonna blame the shoes, all right? <laughs> Plus I was just pumped up to run a mile again to see how it would feel. But I just ran the mile and I got it done in five minutes and 20 seconds didn't throw up, didn't shit myself. I did kind of have a come to Jesus moment, but if I'm being real with myself, I feel like I could have went just a tad bit faster, okay? Like maybe a couple more seconds, all right? So that's the good news. Um, I've shaved off 20 seconds of my one miler time already within the span of four weeks. It's been a lot of hard work getting there, I'm not gonna lie, but this running program that we're putting together is awesome, okay? Can't wait for it to be done. Can't wait to get my final one miler done. That's gonna be, in two more weeks. So I only got like two and a half more weeks to train up and prepare for the one mile over time. And my goal is gonna be five minutes, guys. I mean, I don't know. Don't don't hate me too much if I don't get to five minutes. Obviously, I'm gonna do my best, but no matter what, okay, even if I don't make my five minute goal on this go around, this program is definitely making me run faster. All right, absolutely no doubt about it. And the best part about it is if I don't meet my own specific personal goal by the end of the six weeks, I can just redo the whole program again and I should be able to shave even more time off because it's a recyclable program. Everybody's gonna benefit from this program. I can't wait to, to release it and be done and, and show it off to you guys. But for now, since the program isn't released yet and you probably do wanna run faster starting now, or otherwise you wouldn't be following my run faster videos, right? I'm gonna give you some keynotes and some critical takeaways that I've already identified uh, with going through and creating this program um, that you guys can go ahead and start implementing now so that you can go ahead and start getting faster, all right? You don't gotta wait for this program to come out. You can just start getting faster right now. Let's look at the running schedule holistically on a weekly basis. So looking at the schedule, every week should have a common theme against the next week. And the common theme is gonna look like this. You're gonna be running for six days a week, okay? You only get one off day from running. First day of the week is gonna be your extremely hard day for running, okay? Your 110% day. That day is gonna be dedicated to something like sprints, uh, interval training at the track, maybe some hills or some uh, stairs, something like that. Something where you're gonna be going max effort, 110% and breathing hard the entire time, okay? Let this training be more focused on speed work rather than distance. Now the next two days immediately after that are gonna be dedicated to rest. And all I want you to do is go out there and run for 30 minutes a day for the next two days. 30 minutes, don't worry about your distance. Don't even worry about your pace. Just take it nice and easy. You should be running at a pace where you could carry a conversation along with somebody. Um, nice and comfortable, focus on your form, focus on your breathing, and just get a nice a nice light run in, okay? 30, 30 minutes a day for the next two days. Now on the fourth day, I want you to consider that like a 90% effort day, okay? 90% effort, not quite 100, but you're still working pretty hard. And this is gonna be a little bit more focused on distance and speed rather than just one or the other, okay? So you're gonna combine the two on this day. And this day is gonna look like long distance interval training or uh, long dis longer distance repeats where you're running fast for a half mile, running slow for a half mile, running fast for a half mile, running slow for a half mile, or go out there and do fartlek training. Um, I have a video about fartlek training. I'll put a little card right here so you can see what that's all about. This is your day to combine speed and distance, okay? 90% effort. And then after your 90% day, you still got two days left on the uh, weekly schedule. Your first day of that is gonna be another 30 minute run session, just like the first two that you did before. And then the very last day of your week is gonna be a 60 minute run session. Still nice and easy, still nice and easy, easy breathing, focus on your form, all that stuff, but you're gonna double it up and go for 60 minutes, all right? And then the last day of the week, the seventh day, that one's completely dedicated to rest, okay? 
So that's looking at your training program holistically. That's, that's what it's gonna look like on a week to week basis. Those are like your given days to schedule yourself in and make sure that you stay on track. Okay, another key aspect to your running training program that you have to deliberately take care of and that's your warm up and your cool downs. Before every single run, you need to make sure you're doing active stretching. And that's just doing your kickouts, doing your leg swings, you know, doing your 10 air squats or 10 lunges. Just work everything out, loosen everything up before you go on a run. For your hard days of the week, your 110% day and your 90% day, before you do those actual sprints or hills or stairs or whatever you do for that hard day, you need to warm up with a 10 minute jog. And on the back end of that workout, you need to cool down with a 10 minute jog. So as you can see, the miles are gonna start racking up on you. That's okay, you're trying to be a better runner. Make it happen. After every single running workout, you should be deliberately static stretching. And that's those nice, you know, pool stretches where you're just holding, you're bending over, you're reaching to your toes. I have a video of what my static stretching routine looks like and it's what I'm actually doing uh, right now through my six week program. I want you to check that out. It's very easy, anybody can do it, but you need to actually do that. You can't skip it, it's critical. It's critical for recovery and as a personal trainer and being packed up by a multitude of sports medicine professionals out there, I can tell you that you're missing out on anywhere between 30 and 50% of your athletic progress if you're not static stretching and taking that seriously at the end of your workout. So make sure you do it. Okay, and I got one more thing for you guys before I let you go, and that's find your balance between not getting too comfortable and not injuring yourself. You don't want to be overtraining. This can be a really hard thing to figure out, and sometimes it's difficult, especially for all you high speeds out there that just want to be better. I know all you all want to be better, and you want to get there quick, but it's really important that you're taking the recovery when you need it. Now, that doesn't mean you get to be lazy. I don't go out here every day during my training and feel like I'm running on clouds. There are plenty of days that I'm out here and my legs feel heavier than shit and I can barely even move myself forward, but I get out here and do it anyway. I'm talking about the difference between muscle aches and like bone and ligament aches, okay? If, you're, if your muscles hurt and you know, you're just feeling a little poopy that day, suck it up and go out there and do it anyway, all right? You'll feel better as you go, I promise you. But if you're out there and your shit's just like hurting, like it feels like you're, you're pushing towards an injury, like if you took one more step, then you might actually like collapse your knee or you might overstretch something or it just hurts so bad that you feel like a stinging sensation from the lower part of your body going all the way up to your head, that's when you know it's time to take a break and you've pushed yourself too far. Everybody's different with that aspect, but I do have a video that could go into a little more explanation. I'll put it right here. And that is about how to uh, avoid running injuries. Okay, and I go a little bit more into that. So you can use those tips, make sure you're avoiding injuries, but don't cheat yourself either. Okay, go out there and make it happen. All right guys, so I think that's enough for today. I still gotta go out there and put some more mileage in. But hey, start implementing those tips. If you're trying to run faster, which again, I assume you are since you're watching this video, start implementing those trips, man, because I can tell you from personal experience being out here now that all that shit's gonna work for you, okay? Go out there and do it. If you have any other questions, go ahead and drop it in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If anybody else has any information that they wanna drop for the community, please do drop it in the comments for us. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and so that you can keep following along in the progress of this six week train up plan. We'll see if I can actually make it to that five minute mile, man. I'm definitely putting in the work out here. I'm excited to get after it. No matter what, I'm definitely getting faster. I'm super pumped that this program's working out. Besides that, it's time to put you guys down. I'll see you on the next one.